This is an old monitor that I had lying around since I upgraded my monitors to be a real gamer this summer. And this is what it looks like now. You are stupid. Yep, it's a smart man. And I think it looks pretty damn cool, but I knew that I wanted to add my own spin to it. So the question was, what exactly? And after mere minutes of writing my ideas on a whiteboard, I came to this conclusion. Giving the smart mirror the ability to see with facial detection software so that it could give you a compliment or an insult. I had a goal of buying as little as necessary in order to get this project done because I already saw my dad has a bunch of handy tools like this automatic saw, I don't know what it's actually called, and a bunch of other like stuff you need for, you know, making stuff. So I thought I was good. I was wrong. Because I found myself visiting Amazon every other hour in order to buy a little thing that I was like, oh yeah, I probably need that. And so in the end, here's what I bought from Amazon. The building process took a lot longer than it needed to. That's, that's really just because I had no idea what I was doing. How dare you? Of course I know what I'm doing. Screw you. Basically, all you need to know is that this was me the entire time. I'm pretty satisfied with what I made. It's basically two wooden hooks to latch my smart mirror to my monitor. This was a half meme project and also something I actually wanted to use in real life on a daily basis. And so that's why I chose to use a visa mount and also because I had it lying around actually. Now, when people usually hear the words coding or programming, I imagine people think of this. When the actual action is literally just this. Damn, how do I do that again? Uh, let me see. How to center a div within a div. Oh, okay. Let me just copy and paste. Nice. Now for the fun stuff. The programming. The coding. Okay, hear me out real quick. This part only really has two things we need to worry about. One being how do we even make a smart mirror with a monitor? And the second part being how do we do face detection? And for the first problem, it, there's actually a really lucky solution. So you literally just download his files and then you run it and it's actually, it runs out of the box. And the second part being face detection, which was also surprisingly easy because it's so well documented. You can literally do it in like two minutes. I followed this article and it actually worked, which was insane to me. They usually never do. Hey, yo, it actually worked. I literally just copied and pasted it. That, no way. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool though. Nice, that's two for two. Because of how surprisingly easy both of these things were, my own ego was telling me, dude, you can't do this. This is cheating. If you're you're not a real programmer, if you do this, if you're not writing in Notepad, I don't want to. I don't even want to see your code. You're a fake. You're an imposter. And to satisfy the elitist programmer inside me, I added a new feature, which I guess in retrospect probably should have been in my original plans, was to display text on the screen. Yeah, I know. And to do that, I had to create my own little web server system. My system works exactly like the mailing system. My face detection program wants to send a message to his friend. So what does he do? He makes a message, packages it up, and then drops it off at the post office. The post office then eventually delivers it to the friend and all is good and all is well. The only thing that is different is that the post office is the web server that I made and then the friend is actually the smart mirror module that displays the text on the screen and that's it. It shouldn't take me two hours but it did, okay? Stop judging me. And all of that work for this. I love how you light up when you talk about what you're passionate about. Wow, it's really big. Pretty sick, right? Damn, with those man boobs, you gotta at least wear a bra. You have eyes like the deep ocean is waving inside of them. Chill out Snorlax, save some food for the rest of us. Your facial features are so beautiful. I'm surprised you do not have a girlfriend yet. Bro you're cringe, stop making videos. You are an A plus person. With that big ass forehead, you should be playing Vegeta in Dragon Ball. 
Hey, this is Jason from the future that's currently editing this video, and I forgot to record an outro, so real quick. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Do all that YouTube stuff, like, dislike, subscribe, whatever. And my name is JJ on the block, stay flaming hot, and I'll see you next time. I hope. Peace. Yeah, will you ever find yourself inside a fantasy?